How does it feel to be here? Finally. <laughs> so happy to finally be here. <laughs> Three quarters of the house full. I've just finished my supply of British porridge. <laughs> I've got some fresh melon. It is Monday morning and time for my first class. I woke up at six today to talk to someone who's based in Brisbane, Australia, and the time difference is just not it. <laughs> it's been a good morning. I got to like do yoga and have a good breakfast and set myself up and go over all my class notes. So I feel ready for class, I feel awake. <laughs> I just finished class and now I'm going into a call with someone who works at YouTube. Hey guys, so it is 2.30 p.m. and I have just not left my laptop properly since like 6.30 a.m. <laughs> ah, Mondays. It's literally just like boom, 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 cool, cool, cool. Not so cool. It's like the kickoff of semester. So there's so much stuff which needs to be organized. I'm currently getting into project teams in my tutorial and we're just planning all our meeting structures, the project that we're gonna be working on together. But thankfully, I think I'm there. So I'm gonna go out to a cafe and work on some YouTube stuff. Oh, so many notifications. I set some time aside this afternoon to work on non-academic stuff. So I'm gonna do that. And then me and my friends are going to get Dua Lipa tickets because Dua Lipa is performing here in Buenos Aires on Wednesday. And if you know me, you'd know I love Dua, love her. And if I can get tickets, you know that I will. So that's another plan. And then tonight, tango. <laughs> Okay, so I feel really bad because I've just made a rookie error. Um, I studied in the library without knowing that I need to get a ticket. And they were not very happy with me. And my Spanish was not good enough for me to be able to do like a really like nice apology. So that's not ideal, but you know what? You learn your lessons. Um, so at least next time I know that I need to get a ticket. But yeah, it was really nice studying in the library. I also realized this is where I'm gonna meet local students. And um, I already met two girls who were studying abroad and I spoke in very broken Spanish to two other girls who are local students at university here. Now I'm just walking to a park to soak up some casual magic and just rest and exist for a bit. Big tree, it's amazing. City. There's like people doing yoga, people running, doing workouts, people are just sitting, enjoying their lives. It's so nice. I am currently listening to a Spanish podcast which does like little basic Spanish stories. They're super simple and I still don't get them. But you know, in my head I'm like, oh listening to Spanish will help me, will help immerse me here more. So I'm just gonna sit here and listen to that and look around and romanticize my life. <laughs> Yeah. 
We've tried like every type of circular object that you can imagine. This ceramic was too dog. small. My too big. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, thank you. This was too small. We tried everything to block the drain. We smashed it. Thank you. Now I can enjoy my bar. Enjoy. <laughs> Sometimes you just want a bar. What a luxury to have a bar. Hey guys, so I'm just in bed. Fong's looking cute over here. Not cute, I'm also dead. Literally dead. Um, but I just wanted to report on my first ever tango class. Okay, so it was like, it felt like a very local spot actually. Um, I didn't really know what I was expecting, but it was in this little underground basement and we thought we were coming to the beginners, but it definitely did not feel like beginners. There were so many incredible, talented people who've clearly been doing this for a very long time. And I think they very quickly realized that we were beginners because they just, they just got this rope and sort of sectioned us into the corner. And then we had some better instruction. But yeah, it was really fun. He would be instructing only in Spanish which was a little bit intense, um, especially at like 10 p.m. when my brain's just not really working. But so much of the instruction would be through gestures and body language. So I'd just be trying to copy and he would sort of explain and then we'd have a partner and try it out and then he'd explain and we'd try a new partner. Tango is the most intense, emotionally intense dance ever. You literally have to like stare into someone's eyes and feel the movements of their body to determine where you're going to go next. Like it's a conversation between your bodies. So that's a lot with a stranger, especially when you don't really speak the same language. But it was, it was good. It was very fun. Um, I definitely want to go again. This is a skill that I want to work on this semester. But God, it's like exhausting too. So much tension, but they look so relaxed at the same time. How do they do it? Tango day one. What a Monday. What a Monday. Drop the belly. Wrists underneath the shoulders here. On an exhale, round through. Chin to chest, navel draws in. How pretty she is. Wow. This area is so vibey and cool. Okay, let's get lunch. This is the first time we're having dinner in two and a bit years. Two, two and a, yeah, something. Two and a bit. Out. 
about an hour ago that I can go see Dua Lipa today. I thought I could get tickets to see her tomorrow, but they all sold out. And so my friend Marsha, my roommate from London, literally the biggest Dua Lipa fan, managed to get me a ticket for tonight. So such a turn of events. I've literally just been studying all day. And now I'm going to see Dua Lipa, which is just crazy. Let's just appreciate the fit. This top I got in London, thrifted forever ago. It's a little bit, a little bit risque, not gonna lie, but I love, I love the color. I love the vibe, I'm here for it. This jacket I got for the equivalent of $2.50 in the streets of Buenos Aires. Um, and normally I'm not, I'm not a faux leather look kind of gal, but I saw it and I was like, that is such a bargain. So I'm feeling a little bit out of my comfort zone here, but I think it looks cool. And then these glasses, which are very much for aesthetic purposes and have no UV power at all. I think they're about three quid. And then my yellow nails, which I've had since Empowered by V, V's Education Empowerment event, like three weeks ago. So I don't know how they're still on, but they're here, they're bringing the color. And I'm just so excited. Um, I love Julie Pye, I love her music. I think she's just, she's just incredible. Life is so good. Life is just sometimes, wow. Wow, feeling very grateful. Okay, let's go. Guess who's going to do a leap <laughs> Fit check. So today is very cold day, but because of the love to do Alipa, I decided to wear a tank top with, with like rice <laughs> things. So, love it. You know, like Dua Lipa is kind of like a gay iconic, so iconic. So she's yeah. an icon. So this one is just a denim to like make me not free there. <laughs> and you've gone for denim on denim. Yeah, and um, yeah, and I borrow a high heel, so Ooh. I could I could be taller. <laughs> Even is very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how women can do that, but yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> yeah, I respect all the women in the world wearing high heel. Oh, yeah. thank you. Meanwhile, in Nike trainers. <laughs> yeah, no, because she's British, so she was already tall. No, she's Dutch. Plus British, so she already told. <laughs> I'm not. The driver okay. let us use the the radio oh God, oh so God. that we can play it with Bluetooth. Oh. So nice. Oh. Gracias. Gracias. Shout out to Sandra. Yes. And there's nothing funny here. <laughs> We have so much work to do, so me and Duke are holding each other accountable to finishing an assignment that we have on Saturday. Hopefully. Hopefully. Literally not leaving today until we have finished that assignment. Sure. <laughs> Which area are we in? We are going to a brand new area called... Belgrano. Belgrano. You think it's Belgrano? I think so. Yeah. And we found this really cute cafe. Very so cute. we're gonna explore. This cafe is so nice. Look how cute this little spot is. We did well. Today, uh, I have one finance class and also like, I have to finish my capstone assignment. Mm -hmm. um, so like it's about like updating your progress in during the summer and like in the last few months, like how you have done for your capstone. But yeah, like if you done a, you have done a lot, it's a lot of thing to say, like a lot of thing to say. But you have done nothing. <laughs> then you're struggling. So to you're struggling to so think about what you have done, like <laughs> what you should have done. Ooh, a matcha latte with almond milk. Almond milk is like the vegan go-to here. I have a meeting with my tutorial team in 40 minutes, so I'm just going over the meeting notes, create a bit of an agenda, going through some of the sources that we're going to discuss, and then trying to make it a productive meeting. It's 
such a health queen. I'm just making these two vegan burgers and because this is the only pan that we have, I also am making some carrots and onions in the same pan. And I've got some cute veggies and some pasta from yesterday. Hi friends and welcome to Jade's self-care day. <laughs> it's Friday and thankfully I don't have any classes today. And it's just been a very hectic week of boom, 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 routine, routine, study, study, classes, work, everything. <laughs> I've had so many meetings with professors, just been very on top of life, which is why I find it so essential to schedule a self-care day every week where I don't just go along with the motions of studying, where I don't push myself really hard, where I don't stretch myself socially and meet up with a million people but instead I really pour back into my cup. For me that is exercise, that is like yoga, that's cooking myself good meals, that is checking in with home. I spent this whole morning catching up with my brother, my mum and my dad each separately in like a little convo. I also called some of my friends back home and I just feel, I feel good in terms of my values and remembering how important family and these people are to me. Here we go. Quick, easy, delicious, healthy. So good. When I was younger, I used to feel a lot of guilt for taking days off studying, especially when I knew I had a lot to do. Like right now, my to-do list is long and I know that I could just be continuing working through that like there are always tasks that you can be doing right like there's always more you can always study more you can always study longer but over time I've realized that you can't pour from an empty cup you can't be productive in a study sense if you are not well rested if you haven't been getting enough sleep if you're not eating well if you feel exhausted all the time if you are socially drained. Like if, if you are any of those things, you're not going to be studying well. So I worked out at uni, the most productive thing you can do is to take days to get yourself back into this state of being productive, of being like ready to go again. So that's what today is. Today is absolutely necessary to me performing the best at university. I went to the gym today and set up a gym membership. The university has a good deal, so I got a membership for the whole time that I'm here and they have a swimming pool. And I'm normally not much of a swimmer, but I thought, why not? Let's do it. So I went swimming and it was such a freeing experience. I can't remember the last time that I just swam laps. But yeah, my body feels good, my mind feels good. <laughs> if you're watching this and you feel exhausted or burnt out, or you feel guilty for taking breaks while studying, I just wanna remind you how valuable it is. Rest is productive. Hustle culture makes you believe that it isn't because this hustle culture that we're under values output more than input. But society doesn't teach us that in order to sustain this amazing output, in order to improve that amazing output, you've got to put good stuff into yourself too. Take a break, schedule it in the calendar, and then you'll feel so excited to study again. I love learning, I absolutely love it. I feel ready to go again tomorrow, you know? Balance, my friends. <laughs> Tango World Cup final featuring the squad. Woo! Are you guys excited? Of course! Yay! Hi guys! So we are just at the World Cup final of Tango, which is so cool. And tickets were free, we found them online. I don't know, after my Tango class, I feel like I'm an expert. I can also partake in the judging here. <laughs> Um, and how are you enjoying the tango? I am confused. 
but I'm impressed. Uh, honestly, I don't know much about tango, but just looking at people being so confident, and like, it's very nice. And also, just I'm here with my friends. <laughs> so I'm enjoying my time a lot, and Buenos Aires is amazing. Like so cozy and sunny, and just this big star in front of me. Mwah.